Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to episode 16 of the DCO Project podcast. I'm your host, Count Shakula. Uh, we're joined again today by Glenn. Uh, we got our whole crew here. We are missing one or two guys. Uh, we've got, like I said, I've got Glenn joining me, uh, Kaiser, uh, Crappy Heels from the Lifted Research Group, and we're uh, we're missing Smile Before Death tonight, but we have uh, somebody joining us. Um, I was going to say he was from arch enemy league but ew, i really can't say that now i guess uh i guess he's kind of legalist now but we've got a guy that joined us about a month ago on an episode uh and it's i like the way you die boy that's his character's name and uh thanks for joining us man for sure and uh Uh-oh. real quickly on that arch enemy notes i don't know why but i just got an invite back but the mics are down so we'll get to that at another time <laughs> There you go. Well, problem solved. You know, I don't understand. You don't have DC, any drama. DC I was, drama. I was going to badmouth them, but... Uh, so what's up, everybody? Dude, so what's up? Everybody, everybody say what's up to our... Uh, what's up? To our iTunes audience. Like I said, uh, last week I said that we were going to have an Android app to go along with our iTunes app. Well, guess what? I had some technical issues with that. Uh, that's going to be put on hold. And, of course... Most of the people I talk to have an Android, so, oh well. Yeah. Oh, I'm in here with an arch enemy guy. <laughs> RGTO. Oh, too bad I didn't spec into uh, actual <laughs> DPS stuff, so I could have beat him in DPS. Ooh. RGTO or something? I don't know. I don't know how to spell that shit. Is arch enemy a big league? No. They're not a big league. No. But they they just invited you back, huh? They just invited me back. Uh, I sent him a message. I was like, "What? What's that about?" And I'm just waiting to hear back. But uh, DC Universe drama. DCUO drama. It's stressful. It is. It can be stressful. Well, I, like I said, you can <laughs> uh, you can join us if it doesn't work out. You're more than happy to join us. For no sure. problem. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Are you sure about exposing him to certain other members? Namely, a certain two, you know who I'm talking about. <laughs> Those guys are just like they're like side members, but but anyway, we're getting off, we're getting way off the they're path hedging. here. Um, we've got yeah, a lot about, to talk about. Let's talk about Sony Live. Yeah, we've got like, SOE Live to talk about. I've got I've got a page of notes. I know Glenn. Uh, I know I Glenn. I watched it twice. Like no, I've watched it a total of like four times now. That keynote. <laughs> you need to get a life. But anyway, because yeah. I only watched it three. <laughs> so, <laughs> I watched it once. It was really good. Watch. It was really good in my opinion. I enjoyed the whole thing. Uh, what about you, Crappy? Did you? Uh, I watched some of it. I, I thought it was pretty good. Yeah. Okay. Looking forward to some future DLCs. Well, and the I new have power. A, we're gonna have to. Pro- we're gonna have to get right into it. I do apologize for our somewhat late start. We had some technical issues with uh, Twitch TV. So. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna put up a uh, I'm gonna put up a little video here, and of course, yeah, I'm gonna put up a little video. Oh. Now there won't be any sound for the video, but I, I've actually got the SOE. Uh, hope they don't. I hope they don't mind us doing this. But uh, Sony's very open about like. Uh their videos and content, so I don't <laughs> think they would get mad at you. Yeah, it's just a, uh, it's just some uh, for anybody that is watching the uh, Twitch channel. We that's the keynote footage, right? That exactly the keynote footage, and a lot of people they don't. I've noticed they don't watch, they don't watch our show while it's going on, but they do watch it in the like the video on demand on Twitch. They do. Because I got a bunch of new followers on my channel, so they do come and watch it later on. So that's the reason that's why cool. I post some of these, you know, videos and everything. So, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, let's get right into it. Uh, uh, the first, first big news coming down uh, that uh, that I saw uh, coming out of SOE, um, and it's not the biggest news, but I'm not going to start with like the main points. Uh, they're toning down the tier five stuff. All they're toning down is the uh, one-hit kill shots. They're not even toning it down. What they're I heard not. they're doing is, say, <laughs> say the orbital strike lands on you, they're going to give you an extra second to get out of the way. Right. You know, yep. instead of, like, all the useless one-shots, taking some of them out and making them two shots, like, 
I haven't heard anything on that. I just heard they're going to make the animations more noticeable, give you more time to get out of the way of some things. Yeah, like well, sli- if the animation is more noticeable, then you should have an easier time. You know, though there's a ton of one shots that shouldn't even be in there. You know, that robot wakes up in the hallway; it shouldn't kill you in one second. You know what I mean? You should be able to run away from that. The ads in Paradox and the Paradox Tunnel; those ads touch you one time and kill you. That's stupid. Well, to me, the hardest part is the orbital strikes because there's like a delay in the audio, for me anyway, and I have a hard time getting out of the way of those things. So if they can give me another half a second or a second to get out of the way, that would be, that right there is a game changer. If they're going to slow the attacks down a little bit. It's essentially what they're doing. Because they didn't really say that they were like nerfing the damage. I mean, I think maybe they will a little bit because he did say one shots, you know, so. They need to calm down on some of the one shots. It doesn't make it harder. Right. Well, I think that's the feedback. They said they listened to the, they said he had an overwhelming feedback that they thought it was just a little too difficult. Instead you know. of coming up with legit strategies, you know, they're like, uh, let's uh, just one shot everybody. <laughs> How come my dots aren't hitting any of these people? What's up with that? So you're playing right now? <laughs> yeah, I'm doing unpaid right now. I'm DPSing with my DPS gear, no mods, and resto. Well, that's like me healing with no mods today. <laughs> I have no mods. Uh, another thing I had, and and you feel free to jump in, Glenn or whatever, if you've got you know on topic. Okay. Well, uh, what did everybody think about the new art? The new DC Universe Online. Uh, oh yeah, I didn't. You know, I didn't even think about that. I liked it. I guess there was someone got complaining or something like that. He said, so, "I couldn't. None of us could hear a." Him. Yeah, you couldn't hear what the crowd was saying. But Jens, Jens was like, "There's always a critic." He yeah, was probably like, going like, nitpicking. "Wonder Woman and Cersei are too small." <laughs> yeah, I think like that's the what it, the complaint was. But it looks freaking awesome, and I think. I think what that means is maybe like the the launcher um, art's gonna change, because the the launcher art has the the six mentors, right? Except the 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 sixth is Catwoman. Yeah, I guarantee <laughs> that the the for the PlayStation so Four, yeah, they're, they're gonna, gonna have all new loading screens. I think they I think they're gonna like update their their art, the you know the the launch art and the there's the launch art right there on the video. That was perfect timing. Yeah, see, that looks really cool. Yeah. I like that a lot. Well, it was up there for a second. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, another another piece of news coming out of um, the keynote for, for the future of DC Universe was uh, the Armory. Uh, instead of including that into a DLC, they're actually going to let you do an Armory that you can it's put in your base. Update. Yeah, Same with for, the, uh, right. Same for the league bases. It's all going to be in an update. Right. Yeah, I so Halls of, Power, s- Halls of Power DLC is not going to be introducing the league halls. That's going to be... T- we'll get to that later, though. So. Yeah. Yeah, everyone, everyone, the free-to-play players, premium, everyone will have access to the league halls. And it's not even... It's going to be, like Glenn said, it's going to be part of an update, not even part of a DLC. So I like that. Although one thing I like about the armory is I like how they did the limit to it. Like they said, you're going to have your basic amount of armory slots with more available on the marketplace. So it's going to be like your inventory where you can get extra that's armory awesome. slots for oh, different loadouts. Dude, that's going to make them so much money. Exactly. Like oh. you can get two for free probably, but yeah. you can expand to like 10 different loadout setups and gear configurations. Yeah, basically like, you can look like Tony Stark's lab or something with like 10 I know it's a different universe but uh 10 I can't wait for that to happen What do you think my tech base is going to look like Oh my like? god gonna you're going to have, gonna have like 10 you're going to have like 10 builds in your base but you got to remember exactly. I, can we put those in our league base Yeah, yeah. I, well I think, I think so maybe I think that was mostly meant for the for your the own personal base. bases right Yeah and uh in my opinion, that's pretty awesome, and they are they kind of one up all the other MMOs out there because I'm pretty sure uh, World of Warcraft only allows you to have two different specs that you can switch to at will. 
but just the point where you're going to be able to see your build in a glass tube. Yeah. Like, like a like a gear set, you know, that you see in the Hall of Doom or whatever, the Watchtower. That is just, that's going to make people, I mean, that's just going to be awesome for bases. I mean, I'm just going to hang out on my base all day long and look at my different, <laughs> you know, <laughs> when I play. There'll be I'm no, gonna it's going to gonna be a lot less people in the Hall of Doom. Let's put it that way. There was a crap ton of people on this weekend. Yeah. There was a lot yeah. of people on this weekend. Well, yeah, they're getting the SOE live news and all of that stuff. So, yeah, people are starting to jump on. So, I mean, I, just the cosmetic look of the base is going to be such improved with seeing your PvP gear in a glass tube and seeing. I mean, that's going to be see, awesome. I and I, and I hope. I don't know what update. What, what we're going to speculate? What update that's coming? I don't expect that for another three to four updates. Well, I hope they hustle it up because I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> I mean, because there there solves the problem. For one, they're going to make a lot of money, and that's good for the game in the long run. It dep I wonder how many how much they're going to charge. Maybe two ninety nine or four ninety nine, maybe for an extra. I'd say five because I knew a de a different deed was what is what three. Yeah. I would say five. I'd say four ninety nine. <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying five even or five ninety nine? It'd be four ninety nine. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> oh, what was that? We had some uh, background noise there. Someone's getting on a helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> it did sound that way. <laughs> Someone's got a helipad on their. Oh, now our troll froze. Jeez, what else is new in this fucking game? Uh, <laughs> Damn you, DC. <laughs> Here we are talking up DC Universe, and you're putting it down, crappy. Yeah, man, what the hell? Yeah. I mean, trying to do unpaid. Now we gotta wait for the troll. I've actually froze like five times in the past hour. I don't know if that's a PlayStation thing or what, but I'm not sure what's DC going on thing. with it. But uh, I, I mean, we could talk a long time about the armory. I mean, that's just to me, that's uh, the most needed addition to the game. You know what I mean? Oh, it is. Specs. I wouldn't be DPS specced into Resto right now if I had one of them in my house. It'd be nice. <laughs> there you go. I could add, like, the other night running Nexus, I could have actually got my proper specs in order for DPS. You know what I mean? I could have had my tactical mods in. I could, you know, instead of running without, you know, running with 200 less might, I couldn't figure out what was going on, you know. I can just go over to, I can warp to my base real quick, go up to the glass tube and click the button and there you go. I have like 2,000 might. <laughs> That's just because I have my DPS gear on. That's sad. I don't have any mods in it or nothing. Well, let's talk about something. Uh, I mean, we said that League Halls were going to be part of a update, not a DLC. Well, let's talk about the leaderboards. Yeah, I thought the leaderboards thing was awesome. Speak on it. <laughs> I was waiting for other people to say stuff. All I know is there's going to be a statue of me in my fucking league hall because I'm the shit. <laughs> tell you that. Yeah, for those I... who don't know, one of the announcements from SOE Live is they're going to have league leaderboards. Now, I'm assuming it's just league. It's not like game-wide. It's just for your league, right? Uh, I don't know. The way he described for your league, it, I think. the way he described it, it was kind of misleading yeah cuz he he said it was for your league hall but he didn't specify that it was just league he made it sound like it was game wide well now, you say i hope it's only league and not game wide because that's going to pose a problem i don't think they see here's the here's the reason why i think it's just league wise i watched the um another podcast uh, from SOE Live, and they were talking about that, and they were kind of making it seem like a certain player would have his statue up in the league hall all the time. You know what I mean? You know what I'm talking about. So, um, <laughs> I think it is just for your league. I think it's league leader. It's PvP and PvE, and you can customize it. And another reason why I think it's just league is because... Yin said to have that on, you have to have league decoration permissions. You know well, what I mean? He, here, here's my issue. 
and I hope they take this into consideration hearing this. I hope there is not any search function anywhere for an overall leaderboard because you're going to get a like it won't affect leagues too much, but all the people that pug, like you're going to have people shouting in the hall in the watchtower, like need three DPS for Nexus, only top 100 apply. I it, don't think it. I think there's some elitists that'll go that far in this game. Well, I don't. You know, I don't think it's game wide leaderboard. Yeah, I really I'm hoping don't. it's not game wide. I hope yeah. they consider that and make it only league based. I think it's just league, and I don't think you'll have a search option. I don't think it's going to work that way. But it's pretty cool that if you are the league leader in a certain category, it'll. I don't know if uh, I like the way you die, boy. I don't know if you've heard this news. Um. You're gonna have your the picture of your, you're gonna have a statue of your character appear, and it'll change every month to who's the leader in certain statistics on the leaderboard for your league. So you can actually have statues in your league hall that might have your character as the statue, you know. And it, he said whatever gear you're wearing at the time will appear on the statue. Hmm, I haven't heard that, but uh. It, Honestly, sounds like something I won't be concerned about. But <laughs> but Rock Hardington might. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you know, there's no doubt. But <laughs> that to me, that sounds like a really awesome way to add leaderboards. Yeah, I like it. I, I, like I really like how most updates of like of a feature just have like some sort of gimmick to it. You know, like cross faction PvP had the Suicide Squad thing to it, right? And the right. Task Force X leaderboards were having like a statue with you know basically reflecting the Watchtower. I mean, you couldn't. No one would want a a leaderboard in their league that showed statues of le of stat leaders from other leagues. You know, like game wide. <laughs> you know, I don't want to. I don't want a statue. It makes the game of, more competitive. But I mean, I don't want a statue of crappy heels in my league. I mean, no offense. <laughs> I just don't want it with your Hawaiian shirt and your. He's not gonna. He's not the Hawaiian shirt right now. He's a midget. <laughs> he's a midget with a hoodie. I'm trying to get a response from him, but I guess he's too busy playing. I don't know. Oh no! I I had to meet my mic. He's like, no, I'm a Green Lantern. I don't have that on no more. <laughs> Everybody wants a statue of me in their base. <laughs> Anyways. Anyway. <laughs> They uh they also announced how like the DLC structure is gonna be, right, which is what we're looking at right now. That was actually next on my list. Go ahead. Yeah. Go they right basically, ahead. yeah, they basically said since home turf they've been doing, uh, small DLC content to large DLC content. Basically, home turf was your small content, as in like you know solo quests, uh, anything that dealt with an individual player to a smaller group. And then Origin Crisis was your raids, your harder alerts and operations and such. And then Sons of Trigon is going back to, you know, solos and duos. And then War of Light, which is going to be DLC 9, and we'll cover that in a little, a little bit more, obviously. Yep. yep. Is going to be the uh, another big one. <clears throat> and, and basically it'll go small, big, small, big, small, big. And then um, he also said that uh, in small... Uh, DLCs expect to see new tiers. That's when uh, new tiers will be introduced. Right, because Yin's even said they got it backwards in the yeah. past. They were they were putting the tier gear. They were introducing the new tiers during the raids. And what they what they want to do now is introduce the new tiers during the solo stuff. And then you get the better gear doing the raids. And you already have the tier gear built up for the raids. So they've yep. kind of got it backwards now. So he said that's one thing that they're looking into fixing. So, yep. And I, I like the way that they're actually like using logic. You know, what I mean, they're fixing their mistakes with you know using like logical gear progression because it really didn't make any sense to put tier five out with Nexus when better stuff drops in Nexus anyway. You know what I mean? Doesn't make sense to get. Right. Gear that you could buy. Wait a minute, you know wait a minute, I mean? wait a minute. I want to correct you on that. Better stuff randomly 
solely, almost never, but sometimes drops in Nexus. Okay, and, and only and for DPS. Th that brings and up a little. DPS. <laughs> that brings up a little You're point I'm going to bring up later that might cover all of that. But anyway, let's go ahead, Glenn. I didn't mean to interrupt you. <laughs> yeah, I did. Well, it's... <laughs> Well, yeah, that's just, it's basically just going to go small, big, small, big in terms of, you know, group content. But and, they did say in the small ones, you can expect like sometimes like a bigger thing like this one. It's not all small. We got an alert with this at least. Well, they yeah. consider alert small content, you know, anything that yeah. doesn't have eight people in it, you know. I guess yep. what they would, I guess what they mean by that is like in a big content DLC, you would see like maybe two or three alerts. Right. I see what you mean. I, I thought they meant like the number of people that actually participated in the content at the same time. Because I mean, well, Origin Crisis gave two alerts essentially with their operations. Right. And then two, and then two raids. Two raids, yeah. And then there was there was two solo challenges thrown in there. Well, they would consider they would consider Battle for Earth the actual a, a big. A big content, big group content, because that's how he that said it. Lot, he said it's small group, group, small group, big group. That had a lot of everything, though. Yeah, that's true. But if it has a raid in it, it's kind of based around large groups, obviously. But um, you know, and things like uh, Hand of Fate would be considered small because you only have four man groups. So that's the way I put it. How he was defining that. Well, Hand of Fate had the two raids. Unpaid in seeds. Yeah, that's true. Well, their operation. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, they were raids, <laughs> I guess. Yeah. I right, wasn't man. meaning Hand of... Uh, well, it had Met. Soul Alchemy, too. Which one had Soul Alchemy? Hand of Fate. Hand, Hand of Fate. Fate. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hand so, of yeah, Fate that would be large group versions. content, so... But Anyways, anyway, let's talk about War of Light. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, I mean, you get the gist of what we're saying, you know. So, yeah, the DLC nine they introduced uh, is going to be War of what War of the Light. Yep, and that's kind of a surprise. Um, yeah, one thing I liked how they said is when's water power coming out, and they're like, we're not putting Never. water power. We're we not have no doing plans. Water. <laughs> so he totally fooled everyone with that, you know. But anyway, water uh, is out. It's just frozen. It, yeah, I think it's frozen. I don't, I don't think they'll ever do water. I don't think they'll ever do that. That's like the a, thing. It's ice. Yeah, it's, it's already ice. Out. There you go. <laughs> we don't need it. <laughs> we don't need that. And it's a tank, so there you go. You're all happy. You got your water tank. You've had it since launch. You just don't know about it. I think water would work. It's just not for this group of three powers that's being introduced. Yeah, yeah. I mean... They might get to it down the road. Yeah, I just don't see it happening anytime soon. No, it's definitely not. God, he's got good DPS, and I'll tell you that. But on the uh, the DLC nine is called War of the Light, and I think they're fixed on that title. And they said it's a working. Well, oh yeah, they said Amazonian Fury was a working title. Yeah, that was tentatively what DLC ten, but. But anyway, they are the big news is they're introducing the full range of the emotional spectrum of yep. the the rings. So, and he hinted like you know, he was like or oh, the lack thereof of color. We're going to go through all the colors or the lack thereof. Like people didn't know they're talking about black lanterns, you know. Yep. You know, black lanterns and the blue lan but the blue lantern Indigo, uh sa or sapphire, star sapphires. Right. Yeah, blue. The Blue Lantern core is the new core they're introducing with Saint Walker, and and the, he he described a few things. He said like um, uh, like Mogo, the planet, you know, the living he's, planet. Well, he said it's gonna be like where uh, Gotham is in a hellscape with Sons of Trigon, and that. Um, yeah, it's basically gonna be that with gonna, Metropolis. Yeah, but it's gonna be all of Metropolis. Right. The whole city. Yeah, the entire city is going to be reskinned. Yeah. Yeah. 
So it's not like a, like I like we were arguing yesterday. I said it's an expansion. I didn't. That's not really. I worded that wrong. I just meant it wasn't going to be like a small instance like Central City. It was going to cover the entire city. They're just going to reskin it just to fit that DLC. So you yep. know, which is pretty cool. But the the big speculation is: Will there be a power released with a DLC nine? They'd have to. It I'm thinking they're going to have a, a lantern tank power. That's what I'm thinking. That's what everyone's speculating, a lantern tanking power. I don't know. <laughs> I really hope not. I hope well, so. I'll, I'll, put, it, I'll cool. put it like this. Like, I know a lot of people don't want it because they're like, you know, this is DC Universe Online, not Lantern Online. But <laughs> you also got to look at it from, like, a sales pitch. You can like all the characters you want, but DC's big money makers is Batman... Superman and Lantern. And the Lantern. And, cord. and we've got a shitload of Batman already. Right. And Superman's. We've got a shitload of Superman. Yeah. yeah. Lantern had them. one DLC. Lanterns, like it or not, make money. And a DLC around. It, it wouldn't have even surprised me if there was a Lantern tank. Yeah, because there's people a power. will pick up this game just for a new Lantern. Maybe it's a Black Lantern power. Maybe Black Lantern's tanking. I don't know. I mean, I'm just speculating, but. Who knows? No, I, I just find the haters funny already. We don't need more lanterns. They have one DLC. Calm down. Yeah, big deal. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's a big part of the DC universe, and well, they're, I mean, they're going to do what brings people to the game. You know what I mean? They're they're not dummies. You know, they're not going to. Well, well, let's get to the fact of what the haters want. Why are we having another lantern DLC? What this game really needs is more Batman. They probably want <laughs> Batman after Batman DLC. Yeah, we're batman out, yeah. We got enough friggin' Batman. Yeah, we don't need any more Batman stories. I'd like to tank when a Unless Red Ninja Batman dies in the story, then I'll take it. I want to see Ninja need... Batman die. Joker hasn't gotten any love, really, at all. Not in much. Terms of mentors. A little bit, a little bit during the, like, the leveling up process. He kinda got a spotlight in the last laugh. It was... Yeah. Like it was, it was supposed to be centered around him, but not really. It was basically centered around the fact that the factions are, you know, separate. <laughs> that was essentially what Last Laugh was. It was reminding everyone that we are, you know, we're not that friendly. Well, the only problem with getting more Joker stuff in here is the voice actor Mark Hamill retired, so he said he's not doing it anymore, as far as I heard. So they'd have to recast. If you Joker. throw enough money at him, he'll do it. I'm sure. <laughs> this is Luke Skywalker we're talking about. I don't know. He might have enough money at this point. <laughs> yeah, it's a possibility, but I mean, you know. he said he, re- he said he retired before. Yeah. Last laugh came out, and then last laugh came out, and he reprised his role. Right. So. Well, look at it this way. I'm going by like recent events. Like they're about to put out that third Batman Arkham game. And they couldn't get Mark Hamill to do the Joker voice. They had had to recast him for that. So if he turned down them throwing money at him for that, are they really going to get him to come back for this? Because he already turned down one major role. Well, I mean, that's they can always get somebody to imitate it. I mean, you yeah, know it's I'm, not going to be Mark Hamill, be but same. I mean, that's beside the point. I mean, it won't be the same. It won't be the same, but the, I mean, that's the least of their problems, you know. Yeah. I don't care if they bring any more Joker stuff. I like I said, I'm no more Batman stuff for a while. We're Batmaned out. We've had enough Batman stuff. They need to expand. This whole story arc is finished right now. And uh, they did talk about some of the new styles. I mean, I know I'm going to jump back to DLC uh, eight here with the Sons of Trigon, but they said that the inspired styles are for the heroes, the Spectre, and for the villains, Eclipso, for Celestial Powers. And they did show some more. Uh, they did show a little celestial gameplay during the uh, video. I'll put the video back up here in a little bit. But um, I'm getting a little weirded out about that new healing power. Okay, let's do, before we get into like the really big news that they dropped at SOE, which in my opinion was the really big news. Let's let's talk. Let's go back. Let's backtrack a little to Sons of Trigon. Uh, what what are you weirded out weirded out about the celestial? power this whole uh damage and like healing i didn't thing. know <laughs> <laughs> you know I, I don't know where they're they're going with the damage and healing thing like if you have to do damage to make your heals 
Like if it's just a bonus on top of it's your It's just heals, a bonus. It's not it you have cool. to do damage to do heals. Yeah, because sometimes you uh you really don't have time to be doing anything sometimes. I well, mean, you don't know. It might work like that for some of the curse tree. I can see something like draining life to heal other people. Like I can see some curse like life draining magic kind of thing. Yeah, life stealing. He said it's going to be comparable to like a cleric role in other MMOs. Which, you know, in, in some of the new MMOs, you don't have a specific role. You do multiple roles. Like, you fight and heal at the same time. I mean, it's kind of... I think they're going to add some of that into the game. Instead of making the game just one-dimensional for your role, it's going to make it where you do, you know, multiple things during the during the raids. Which isn't a bad thing if they do it right. Yeah. I fight and heal now, but uh, 28's coming off my hand blasters really aren't doing too much. <laughs> Can't kill anything myself. No, I don't know. I think that might uh, steer some some new healers in the wrong direction too. If they think they need to be building up their damage in order to have better heals too. Well, we don't know. I think a lot of people really are going to go out, wrong so. in that department. We won't know until it comes out. Yeah, I'm not speculating yet, but I just hope it. Hopefully, it's just an added bonus on top. Those of will it. just become the new Earth tanks. <laughs> <laughs> Well, they did say it's precision based. Uh, it's precision well, and might, both. but it favors precision. Yeah, I got a whole bunch of mods waiting to be put into some DPS gear <laughs> after I buy the new stuff to test that out too. I'm kind of liking nature right now, though. Uh, your beast, you DPS and or healing, T fives of nature, top of the board all the time. Yeah, nature is OP for healing or damage. Not in T4, but in T5, so yeah. Yeah, it's definitely overpowered in, in healing a little bit. No, don't even say overpowered in healing. I'll be getting a nerf again. <laughs> they nerf me a few times. <laughs> Sorcerer healers are always complaining. But I mean, well, it's, not even, it's not even really the power. They, they just don't understand. Nature's got it on lockdown with the range. They gotta be in your circle. They need to be in range for Galvanize. What's the range for Savage? Like <laughs> the nature... whole fucking room. Exactly. Na nature <laughs> has no limits on healing. Nature is a beast healer. What they need to do is remove the limits on the other healing powers. Well, yeah, so what I think they mean, what I think they mean for Celestial is they're gonna make it more like hard light trolling at first, where you had to be actually closer to the enemy. I think the range is going to be limited on it. That's what I mean. I, wait, wait, wait. That's I really, what I think they I mean really by the range. Nowadays, limited. when do you have to be close for hard light trolling? Not now, but when it first came out, what was the knock on hard light trolling? You had to be up in the enemy's face, right? Until we figured it out. Well, yeah, until people figured it out. But I mean, I mean, you didn't have to, but to be more effective, like like the whip and stuff like that, you had to be close. I think I think you're going to have to be closer to the enemies. I think I think Celestial is going to be more of a, a melee healing class. Yeah, you ain't melee at nothing. <laughs> it sounds like Paladin from World of Warcraft. Paladin, exactly. Yep. Yep. I don't know what that is, but well, it's like... like a cleric, like a you know, it's like a you know, it's like a battle. He's got stronger armor. He, you know, like in other MMOs, usually a healer has like cloth armor. But in but a cler but a paladin and a cleric will have like beefier armor and they'll heal at the same time, but they'll be up close to the. No, enemy. the healer's job ain't to be up close, though. You know, the healer's job is to hang they're out of the back. It. They're and changing it. They're going. I mean, you, you, they're That's they're going to be the... changing it, man. I mean, you're I've... still going to have your range healers, but you didn't hear healers are going to be tanking and tanks are going to be healing. <laughs> Well, that's a possibility, I mean, I, but I, I mean, D four, but not D five. You can't get close to these dudes. They just knock you out. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Do we still have tanks in this game? Shoot, I tried to run Nexus last week with 8 DPS and supply drops. and no, We got, no, a, we I got mean, a gun. I mean, to have it, literally tanks, like plural, there has to be more than one class. All I ever see is ice. As far as I'm concerned, we got healers, DPS, trollers, and ice. Because <laughs> the other two are missing in action, as far as I've seen. That's yeah, I, I run with all kind of tanks, uh. <laughs> I've seen more earth tanks lately. I've earth does really good in there anything. if you have if you have a good loadout. Earth rocks out really good. 
But if, uh, if you'll notice some of that gameplay on that video of the celestial powers, um, that guy was lunging the enemies. Yeah, he oh, was. was he? I wasn't even face. paying attention that good. Yeah, yeah but you've also got to consider in that gameplay they were showing, he was also playing outside of a party like solo. You're not going to kill anything sitting back and healing yourself all day. Yeah, you he kind of had to watch it. Right. Yeah, that that you can't really go by that. Well, I'm just saying, if it's anything like some of the new MMOs coming out, they're just not going to have a class that sits back. They're gonna they're gonna try to evolve and adapt the the roles, where more people are doing multiple things in a raid. So. Yeah, I was gonna say like, a healer being in uh, within melee distance isn't new. That's not anything new at all, right? Yeah, paladins yeah. wear plate armor right. in, in World of Warcraft. They can take the damage. Yeah. Not in DC. Huh? I mean, I got a lot more health than the DPS, but I'm sure everything Celestial still will just have kills like, you instantly. It'll sure have some Celestial defense will have buffs. Shields. Yeah. yeah. Something. You know, like a shield or something. But yeah, that's nothing new. Like when I play Guild Wars two, you can have a you can have a healer that plays up close with daggers, like a melee range. Yep. Healing. Dude, so you're telling me if you're up close in Nexus healing, you're not gonna get knocked out. Well, you're you're not just not gonna stand there like a tank. You're gonna be moving around, lunging, jumping around, you know. But I mean. You would still get knocked out. Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> the other healer better be on it, so. I'm just saying, don't, ca hey, catch me don't expect Celestial healing to be top of the damage board. That's not what they're saying. You're still a healer, but you're going to have to be more active in the combat role while you're healing. That's what he's getting at. He, I'm just going to wait to see how it Here's happens. what I see happening. Celestial's going to be an all right healer. I think Nature's still going to be the top of the food chain. Well, yeah. But if I think it's going to be. Pure, if you're a scoreboard whore and just looking no. at pure numbers. Yeah. But let, let me finish. I think it's going to turn out more like gadgets. You occasionally see the gadget troll in PvE, but I think like gadget Celestial being combat healer, I think it's going to be like possibly the next big healer for PvP. I think the PvP crowd's just going to. Oh yeah, like definitely. You fight, debuff, you're in oh, the mix. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Not sitting. I think this is going to be like a big PvP power. Yep. More so than there's a PvE power, kind of like gadgets is, where it's just a beast in PvP. If it sucks, man, I'm gonna be a little disappointed. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I kind of see it being more attuned to being a great PvP power than PvE. Ah, uh, cares about PvP. <laughs> yeah, I knew that was coming. <laughs> that shit's broken. It's just been broken for years. Why do, they don't need no block and immunities and stuff. Just fucking swing at each other and go to town, you know? Don't be <laughs> pussies and blocking. Just fucking swing away and may the best man win. No blocking. <laughs> no knocking over. None of that stupid Throw stuff. Throw all the just, strategy out of the door. Just fucking kill yeah, each other. Whoever plays the most and has the best gear is going to win. Let's Hell just yeah, make that's how it should be. <laughs> Let's just make PvP boring as fuck. <laughs> no, that would make it interesting, and that would make it quick. You know how quick a duel would be if nobody was blocking? That just means you suck at PvP, crappy. <laughs> no, but that shit makes it boring as hell. Then you're, so you're what, a group so what of people. You're saying is, what you're saying is, is you're the Trex light of PvP. Uh-oh. Oh, like, <laughs> it's just ridiculous. You're in a group of people, and one person blocks. Like how and he you're not even that. targeting he's that just, guy, and you get knocked out. He's not over even gonna defend that. himself. Hey, hey, look, look, look. <laughs> I, 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 I oh, hey, by the way, for. by the uh, way, they lost in the first round to most wanted. Just throwing that out there. But anyway, go but ahead. I, I just, I just want to say, I think that's uncalled for, Glenn. I mean, Crappy's decent. Like, let's put it this way: at least if Crappy, instead of doing videos, ever did like a live stream or something just flat out live, he'd have more than three people show up. <laughs> oh god <laughs> I just want to say that You're fucking rotten Alright Kaiser You knew I had to throw that jab in at some point 
<laughs> I had to throw it some There's point. There's a lot to do at SOE Live. Well, I, was, I, was, I, was, <laughs> I was just shocked. I thought with Super Patriot there, they'd have a packed house. I mean, come on. What happened? You got three people that went to... You can eat 24-7 in Vegas, okay? You can get up at 4.30 in the morning and go eat a lobster buffet. I've been there. So people couldn't wait another hour to eat. So to not that I mean they're gonna go eat at a place where you can eat any time of the day, any buffet, any kind of food you want, and they're gonna skip Super Patriot to go eat. God, you I, get so much hate for this. I'm <laughs> just, well, I'm just saying. I mean, I was Super shocked. Patriot. No, I'm not putting. I'm saying he's a big deal in the DC, in the DC universe community. He's a big deal. I thought. I just thought there'd be at least like you know a, a full house you know i was shocked you know god you guys are totally not on topic anymore <laughs> no we're getting back on i started a hate run right that's now. what we have glenn for man he's gonna get us back on topic go ahead glenn fire <laughs> something new from soe live <laughs> gonna be able to buy before i make another that? wrong joke because i have another it's one just, it's just too funny <laughs> but <laughs> All right, anyways. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> Back on Sons of Trigon and how they're going to have three duos and one alert. Did uh, anybody see, like, the new art and stuff? Does anybody like that? I think everything looks pretty cool. I think it looks cool. Yeah, right. the new... I like how Jens was, like, the original... Uh, Trigon demons looked too power rangy. <laughs> yeah, they did. They looked like they looked bad. Let's put it that way. Yeah, they look a lot better now. Yeah, that that looked terrible. I thought from everything I've seen, everything is looks pretty cool. And the three duos are the three sons of Trigon. But um, they're gonna have it where uh, when you go in, you can fight the other ones as an optional boss. The right. way he described it. Right. And that um, you'll also fight an iconic uh, as the, an option. That'll be the Titans well. or the Fearsome Five. Yeah. 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 So if you're on the heroes, the Fearsome Five will show up. Um, and if you're on the villains, the Titans will show up. Yep. Kind of like so we have now. I yeah. think there's going to be any 87 gear drops in any of these? And maybe the alert? Well, let's talk about that. Uh, they the are going to have an 86 level gear set two of them and you can buy them cross faction with marks of reality so they will have a vendor where you can actually buy the 86 gear the only way i see 87 dropping is if it only drops off a of trigon and that alert right and only if they make him like super difficult like he's probably going to be a nexus level boss for an alert like you know a four-man version of one of those bosses. i would like it to be super difficult like, it uh, probably is going to be. I don't want to. I hope they don't make it stupid, like brothers of family. Like nobody that's, wants to go in Central City and do some pointless bullshit in Central City. Like that's stupid. Like even the stuff you do in Metropolis and Gotham are kind of they're just like. Yeah, it's only because like you're that, tired that, of it, though. Yeah. When it first came out, it wasn't stupid, crappy. I mean, well, the Central City part was stupid. Everywhere. Well, yeah, the Central City part was. <laughs> The you know, actual family alternate isn't bad. family's a little better, but like when you start carrying things from place to place yeah. and stuff like that, you feel like you're leveling up again and it's stupid. You know, I've already done it once. I kind of feel like they ran out of ideas, so they're like, here, carry these boxes yeah, over. Yeah, carry here. this to this and you know? try not to get killed. Yeah. No, I agree. I agree with that. You know, the fucking the outworld stuff in the city, I mean, it's a really cool idea. But you got to remember, most of the people play DC on PS3. And it's not a cool idea for the people that play on PS3. Like in Brothers, holy shit. Sometimes in Brothers, you can't even get through it because of that stuff. Like when you're in a Metropolis, it right. is so laggy. Like well, once you I get mean, the PS4 is going to take care of that. Head, like, but not for everybody. Well, yeah, I know. You know, but... they should be thinking of everybody in the game when they're making it. But you know the serious players are going to be getting the PS4. Oh, yeah, I'll be getting it. No and they, doubt. they said they were con going to continue to support the PS3 for, you know, indefinitely, whenever, you know. Which, in my mind, is probably another year, maybe. <laughs> they should have learned with seeds and unpaid. Like, you do 
seeds and unpaid, like the ninjas come out. You can't even kill the ninjas till two minutes after they come out. Same thing with the uh, the citizens under the bridge and seeds, where you have to smash the seeds on their heads and the scientists yeah. come out and try to kill them. The yeah, scientists come you, out and just kill them because you can't kill them. you got to so remember, stupid. they make the game for the PC. And, I mean, the, the, the original concept for the game was for the PC. And it just so happened to say, hey, we can port this, we can port this to the console. That was secondary. So, I mean, they're going to, they're going to, they're thinking about the PC when they create it. They're not, they're not but developing they the game about for the PS3 console. Because where are the majority of the players? They're on PS3. Yeah, that's true. It just so happened that's just so happened there's more console players than PC players. I mean, you could always dumb it down for the PS3 or spice it up for the. Right. But I mean, PC. the game runs good on the PC. So I mean, basically, with PS4, you're gonna—it's like you're gonna be playing the PC version. Basically. But there's only like a hundred people who actually have a subscription for DC on the PC or the PS3. Everybody else is free to play. There's a lot of free to play. <laughs> That's true. But I—I I think it's more though. I think you're severely low. Well, he's—he's like he's joking. I mean, as far you know, but it's there are a lot of freebies. Yeah, lot of freebies. but I think they would have to. I mean, they would have to, like, you got to think, there's more free to play than there is, like, legendary. And probably now there is. All yeah. those free to play are not going to go get a PS4. And this game is going to be big on the PS3 for at least, like, another two years till the PS4 is, like, right. 200 bucks. Right. Because they're going to keep wanting to make that content for the free to play. Well, they're going to keep putting stuff on the marketplace for the free to play. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it's going it, to, you know, it holds the game back a little bit as far as performance wise, but, you know, still. Well, the free to plays will be easy to see once the PS4 drops. They'll You'll be... be out of a loading screen of five seconds, like, hey, why are we waiting on that healer and that DPS? <laughs> oh, they're free to play. They're still on the loading screen. Yeah, yeah we got about two minutes, guys. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. You know, it's nice. Yeah, you'll, you'll be in, they'll be in stuff, open though, world and don't die before you even res on their screen. <laughs> Okay, so here's something that I we can talk about that actually wasn't even announced at SOE Live. At least I don't think it was. And I came across it. I don't know if this is new, but no. it says new on the support on the on the page. Do you know that uh, DC Universe Online is getting a recruit a friend program? That's nice. Is that just for PC though? Um That's probably I don't just know. for PC. What does that mean? By recruiting friends now? A recruit a friend program. It's like if you send an email to a friend's, to a friend, and like they subscribe or like start playing the game, you get bonuses for your account. So right. like right now they have Planet Side Two and EverQuest bonuses, and I think Planet Side Two is like you get fifty percent extra experience. EverQuest is like you get a mount or something. So for DC Universe Online, they might offer like um, like styles and stuff that is yeah. unique. But that'll know, yeah. that'll just be PC. Well, you never know. Yeah, they you might never add know. It to the PS3 side. Right, that's true. But that's I, why that's why DC Universe uh, isn't out yet. It says coming soon. They might be trying to convic configure it for the PS3 side as well. Right. But we, that could backfire on them in certain ways. How? You you don't you're on PC so you don't want to understand this but on PS3, I could just imagine what if every person in Black Armada recruited a friend. Oh dear God, <laughs> they would go to hell. But they would have to subscribe though. <laughs> I'm more concerned about when the when the sale is going to be. I mean I know we had one like last week but geez, a week without a sale. Yeah, I they need think it. up on my replay. You think we're PC or something? Yeah, yeah we don't. Right. I wish. Yeah, I wish we had Steam. We could just do station cash. That would be nice. Let's, but... Let me find out they're going to offer being able to like transfer a character over to the PC side. I'll be gone so fast. Oh, that'd be awesome. I would. I'd do it too. I'd have to get used to the controls, but I wish no, they merged the servers. I wish they could merge the servers. Honestly, honestly, they can merge the servers. Yeah. No, no, hold on. Honestly, they can merge the servers because I saw on the forums like two weeks ago before they did the last hot fix, there was a glitch going on where if you timed out and you left your thing, you would get a screen that would give um, like a An server option. IP address and you could pick SOE or that 
European thing, and you could actually log in to the PC server. PC players were logging into the PS3 server. Like, there was something going on where cross-server is possible. Yeah, it's possible. They're just not doing it. Yeah. I think eventually they will do it. Yeah, I think it's in the works. Yeah. Otherwise, that wouldn't have been possible. A yeah, PC would have a huge advantage, so advantage over us. If they That's were. why the PC players want to play on PS3, because they have the advantage of PvP. They won't when PS4 drops, because you can hook a mouse and keyboard to the PS4. Yep. Yeah. I would still rather use a controller any day. Of... Me too. If I'm playing video games, man, I want to use a controller. I don't want to be pushing buttons on a keyboard and shit You're... and using a mouse. But you'll be at a disadvantage. The, the mouse and keyboard are superior. I mean, once you get it down... You can do. Yo, my, man, my TV screen is superior to a computer screen. Though I don't want to play on a little ass computer screen. I want to sit on my couch. I got a twenty five inch monitor. I got a twenty seven inch. <laughs> no, but still, I want to play. I got a what is this? A forty seven inch TV. I just like to lounge on my couch and play. I wouldn't want to be lounging on my couch with a keyboard and a mouse on my lap. I mean, I guess to each their own. You know, some people like to play PC. Some people like to play PS three. I just like a controller. I'm with crappy on the controller thing. I never. I I could use a, a mouse, but I just I like. I find the controller. controller just easier. It fits in my hands. I don't have to reach anywhere. Well, I was uh playing this on the PC with the controller like a few weeks ago, and it was working perfect. So yeah. it was pretty I, nice. I, yeah, you I, can I, play on the PC I, with the controller. That was crazy. Earlier this week with an Xbox yeah. controller, I did Nexus. You want to hear about my Nexus run on PC Hero side? <laughs> Easy as shit. Lex Luthor don't do nothing. He stands there, looks at everybody. <laughs> Nowhere to lie. Lex Luthor's like, "Hey, I'll stand next to the tank the whole time and not bother anybody." Well, they'll get. And that's a... exactly what he did. It's they're still oh, nerfing they, it. Oh, weren't they all scared? I thought you said you they were telling the story yeah, like they were, they were scared all, of Gerald oh, Luthor, like General he jumps Luther around the, with the pole, and they were like, "Oh, this is gonna." Be, I was like, nah. I was "Like, let's see." No, no, he doesn't jump around. He jumps around like future. Not like Ninja. Not like Ninja Batman. And he got hand blasters. The man has hand blasters and he pulse beams one person. I was like, really? I was like, Pfft. I was like, Ninja Batman will fuck all three of you people up standing next to each other, not just one person. <laughs> I was like, don't tell me this guy jumps around. I was like, this is nothing. <laughs> well, a new thing they showed during the Celestial screenshots were the smaller battle icons. Yeah. Yeah, they, they're reducing the size of the battle icons. What are those? The stupid things above my head? Yeah. Yeah. Why can't they just give me an option to turn them off? I think eventually they might, but they're well, for now they're much. making them smaller. I don't know if that's coming out with the new DLC. But yeah, they're... like the game out. If you're gonna put something my, on my screen, put my crit bubbles back on the screen. Yeah, I I, I want my crit bubbles. I'm with those were nice. If you're yeah. Gonna use memory to put these stupid ass symbols above my head. Use the memory to put my crit bubbles back. Yeah, I want the crit bubbles back I don't as well. Report it like a seven grand heal without the crit bubble. It's just nice seeing the crit bubbles pop up. Make them a little less than they were, or something. You know what I mean? Stop catering to the damn noobs. No, these fucking noobs don't need this PvP shit about their head. They'll learn just like everybody else. It's not even gonna help the noobs in PvP because all of them just go in like. I'm a DPS, I'm going to kick everybody's ass, and they just get focused, fired, and handled. Everybody's a DPS, and they all have healer debuffs and shit. The, the, the fact of PvP is you go in as a league or a pre-made, or you get your ass stomped most of the time. They're still helping them. I just hate when PvP interferes with PvE. And I don't like when PvE interferes with PvP, you know, just keep them separate. Yeah. Because PvP people tend to not like PvE. You know, your hardcore PvP players, they don't like PvE a lot. Well, what Same I wish they do is when they launch the PS4, they're talking about having a like a kick-ass tutorial with like videos. Like when you log in, you can access a video that'll show you how that to was, lunge. That's supposed to be for the Android app or something. Oh, like is it for a, the Android app? Like when you log in, you have to go to your yeah. You know, if you make a new settings. character, I made a crappy heels on the hero side just so I could go to the broker like two weeks ago, and. uh... Don't say that. They'll be bothering you to play with them and level them up. Oh, God. He's level for good in three. He couldn't <laughs> he... Here come the tells. Level your hero up and play with us. And, uh... <laughs> like, they give you a slight tutorial when you make a new character. You know, right. you have to lunge and block break yeah. and stuff yeah. like that now. I mean, that's good enough. It learns you the basics. You know what I mean? And the rest of it you're going to learn from doing it. You know, I mean, they really can't teach you too much unless they had... 
a you versus the computer deal with telling you what was going on. And yeah, because the MMO is dumbed down enough. I mean, if you mm-hmm. struggle with the mechanics of this MMO as far as... I mean, the thing that hurts the PS3 players is the lag. Oh, yeah. But if you're struggling oh, with the mechanics of this game, don't try another MMO. That's it's gonna, the lag? You're not going to... You know, you're not going to make it. It's the combat system they have. That's what the problem is. They need they need a roll tutorial at level 10. That's all they need to add. They said that they were going to do that forever ago, but I still haven't seen them mention it since. Right. That's what the they forums are there it. for. You go on the forums and learn your role. Yeah, te- when the forums are being trolled troll really by good. people like you. So, Glenn, I, I had a question for you. Uh, <laughs> when... <laughs> He mentioned that they were introducing John Constantine. Remember? Yeah. What What do you think that's going to be about? I mean, what, is that going to be like maybe an iconic character you fight, maybe, that shows up? Well, John Constantine is considered a hero, correct? Well, yeah, really? he's he's like an anti-hero, you know. Yeah, but, yeah he is a hero. Yeah. But uh, I can see him showing up as a bounty for villains. That would be That would be nice. Because I, this is if if we all agree, this is pretty much the central city of 2013. Right. So I can see us getting new bounties, tier five bounties, and the uh, Raven will. And well, I don't. That'd be kind of weird to see all the Titans again. Yeah, that's bounties. what I'm saying. <laughs> it's like okay, you're getting the fearsome five on the hero side. You know that Doctor Light, Gizmo, Simon, Mammoth, and uh, and Jinx. But I wonder, I wonder where Superboy is going to show up because they haven't mentioned him. They didn't Superboy mention him might, at all. He yeah, might I be know, a bounty. So. They, they might have a few new ones, and he might be one of the bounties. Right. Might be Constantine, Connor Kent. Yeah. A few others. That would be good. Beast uh, Boy talk, wasn't a bounty yet. Oh yeah, they could have Beast Boy in there. Yeah, that's Beast true. Boy would be another one. Um, who else haven't they used from the main Starfire Cyborg where Nightwing was? Jericho. Jeez, I'm hanging out with a bunch of nerds. I don't even know yeah, who Jericho these people could are. Be a bounty. Yeah, Jericho. Um, yeah, we're getting into comic book talk, but I mean, you know, I, I thought this Tara. was DC. <laughs> they could bring in Tara. She could be a bounty. I mean, there's a lot. I mean, you know, there's a lot. I thought could... Constantine was the guy that played the the guy in the Matrix. You know, in he, that movie. He's based on a. It's based on a comic book called Hellblazer, and they did a pretty crappy job of. Uh, I mean, I liked the movie okay, but I didn't. I wasn't thinking it was Hellblazer when I was watching it. You know, it's off of a graphic novel. You know, that's you know. That it was it, owned by yeah. Vertigo. First. Yeah, Vertigo, and then DC bought them out. So yeah, which is cool because now we get to see you know Swamp Thing and right. John we get all those back. Yeah, same thing for Swamp Thing. Swamp Thing was Vertigo as well. Right. But um. But anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm wondering where. They're gonna show up in terms of content. I don't know. He might be a vendor. He might turn maybe, into a vendor. You know. Maybe <laughs> um, <laughs> that would suck. <laughs> maybe they'll be the iconic bosses that are optional in the duos. Count. I'll pay you twenty million to let you have crappy us. Crappy us. I mean, crappy can go raid with you if he wants. I mean, he's his own person. Who's that? We don't have it. Somebody's wanting you to go raid with them right now. <laughs> Just make sure you email me that twenty million. Anyway, email me the twenty mil. Hell, I'll do it for twenty mil. <laughs> yeah, go crappy. If it's gonna get me twenty million, go. You're off the show. Go. Bye bye. I'm hanging up. No, I'm just kidding. I'm on the I'm on the PlayStation right now. Yeah, I know. Why aren't you playing with them? I'm Good. farming. Ooh, I guess he told you. I guess that's rock. I think that's rock. But um. I was going to bring... expose his government name. I tried, man. Do I still get the twenty million? Anyway, uh. I was going to bring up the uh, the two or the four styles: the exalted, the Raven, New Fifty Two style. Yep, that's supposed to be coming yep. as the uh, iconic suits that you can get. Those sound cool. And and you're able to buy the cross faction now, right? I think they said something like that. Yeah, uh, they said on the '86 gear that was the Spectre or Eclipso. You can buy either one. If you're a villain, you can buy Spectre if you want. If you're a hero, you can buy Eclipso if you want. That's what he said, definitely on that. Now I don't know if that's going to cover the rest of the styles, which I don't think it is. I think they're just talking about that particular '86 level. Well, you figure the other style. styles are probably drops within the content. 
Yeah, what's their four styles, right? And those are two of them, 86 gears. Right. And the 86 gear is probably going to be the other two. You know, you'll have your support role and your DPS role maybe, or yeah. maybe it's all going to be the same. It's all going to be the same. Yeah. Yeah, it's just, so the, it's just the Spectre then? and Eclipso. That's it. That covers the whole kind of like Manta and Aquaman. No, there's, there's four sets. Yeah, there's four sets. So what are these four sets going to be? I think uh, so. The, he said so Spectre, Spectre and Eclipso the was the inspired by. Yeah. No, he said Spectre and Eclipso were the inspired by when you create a character. He didn't talk about any kind of iconic. Oh, okay. I thought he iconic meant that. Iconic armor is supposed to be based off of Raven, and he, that's about it. That's all he said in terms of the iconic armor, and that it's supposed to be based off of the new 52 Raven. Well, the inspired that they're still going to have like an Eclipso set though, but it's yeah, not going to have. It's just going to be a style. The iconic style or the the styles that are going to be in the Sons of Trigon are based off of the power. Set. Okay. The exalted style had like a halo and looked like uh, the runic set, but it was really like really golden and looked you know. Okay. Basically holy, and then there's supposed to be a dark set that villains get. And that's based off of. Eclipso, more or less. Eclipso, more or less. Okay, I got you. I want to look like a hero. That was a little confusing to me. Yeah, there was. There's supposed to be four sets though. So. And he didn't go into great detail about it. You know what I mean? Yeah. He really didn't. So. That's because they're like, well, we're gonna show it in the next two weeks, and I'm like, in the next two weeks, oh god, because I was like, you better pump this shit out, because Final Fantasy 14's coming. <laughs> yeah. And I'm sick of running Nexus and uh, not getting any good gear. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, um, if you're, if you really are gonna like start trying to hype it, don't hype it, just release it. Just do it, <laughs> right? right exactly. Well, they don't it. even have it on the test server yet, Glenn. So that, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. They're kind of lacking behind right now. And if Final Fantasy 14 is coming out and they don't have this out, but Kaiser, not- but Kaiser <laughs> made a point. You're, they're, Final Fantasy 14 is going to lose a lot of people after the first 30 days because it's subscription yeah, based. Basically, what I was saying is, you know. They might push this DLC back a month. Think of it like this. You do SOE Live. Two or three weeks from now, they start putting it on the test server. Drop the DLC about end of September. Then you figure the people that went to Final Fantasy to try it, not everyone's going to like it. Their 30-day free subscription is going to go up. And, oh, look, brand new DCUO content. They'll come back to this and not even worry about subscribing to um, Final Fantasy. A dark oh, one, uh, dark yeah. one, one, two, three said in the chat that it's Raven and Bl- Brother Blood. There's no Eclipso. Well, oh yeah, I forgot about Brother. Yeah, Blood. the it, Eclipso is the inspired by for the villains. But no, I think what they meant by inspired by shock is like when you go into the character crate screen right. and you can do custom or inspired by, and it exactly. just creates a look like with right. the starting. Gear. No, you guys are. I was wrong. It's uh, Raven Bl- Brother Blood. Thanks for telling us that but uh eclipso is the inspired by like specter for the heroes but Probably yeah brother like blood is the here. the iconic style yeah i forgot all about that yeah yeah but we got we got to move on here because uh we're gonna be running long but we got some more big news uh coming out of soe and i thought it was the biggest news of all and it got the, got the best crowd response uh they mentioned the dlc halls of power is coming it's got nothing oh, yeah it's got nothing to do with the league the league halls except they're saying there's going to be pve content where you're going to have to defend your league hall against um the forces of apocalypse and new genesis which means dark side and all father and all that from you know from the you know from all of that so basically from the We're new gods. Dark side. Yo, I got a question about that. Yeah. I thought when they said, when they released Darkseid, that was going to be the end of the game. No. <laughs> I thought that's what they said. I think they said we weren't fighting ago. Darkseid till we were like tier 7, tier 8 up there. But consider this. Wrath of the Amazons, War of the Light. We're talking a few sagas. We don't know where that Halls of Power is going to fall in there. We might be at tier 7 or 8 by the time it's, we're no, ready we to fight. We ain't going to see that shit till next year. Right. Well, they just announced two, three part sagas in that. They announced seven DLCs well, for the coming future. They're, but they're not doing the parts in order. 
they'll do yeah like, they might alternate them yeah part one of this one and then they'll start part one of this one and then they'll go to part two of a different one and then they'll you know what i mean so that's why i said we don't know where yeah halls of power, of power we don't, power. don't know but i think it sounds cool that you have to defend your league hall they're gonna have pve content in your league hall base you know in your league base i think that's gonna be cool however that they do awesome. it so that I can sounds... see a cutscene happening where it shows all eight of your uh, league players that queued up for it, like just strolling around in the in the league base. Like, a couple are on a computer, a couple are like sitting down on a couch talking to each other or something. <laughs> Someone's taking then a all dump. of a sudden, a boom tube, a boom <laughs> a tube sudden, opens up, and you the... see like freaking <laughs> yeah, dark side rolling. Everybody would shit their pants <laughs> at that point. <laughs> dark side's like, I'm gonna fuck all of you now. <laughs> he's gonna fuck us all jesus that's, i'm not down for that Jeez. yeah that does sound cool so I, i'm excited about that and you know Dark with the ps4 powerful coming. As shit i'll kick his ass right out of my fucking house <laughs> the fuck will let you in Get out of here yeah everyone's gonna be clamoring for that i mean that's that right there is gonna be you know if you're gonna and they're gonna have instances where you know they're gonna have an apocalypse raid and on the and on the uh the villain side they're going to have a new genesis raid or whatever well you know? well that's the thing it might be raids on both sides but as villains i don't think dark side's going to mess with us i think more likely than he's going to fight all with fathers, us all fathers going to invade our bases right over. we're going to we're going to be fighting with dark side against i mean it's just speculating here but that's probably what's going to happen you know yep so which sounds awesome and the the that the good news about knowing that halls of power is a dlc is that all of the DLCs won't be three-part sagas. We will have a DLC every now and then that is like... Thrown in there that was different. Right. Yeah. Right. I, I see what you're saying. Yeah. True. So it would be like War of the Light Part 1, Amazonian Fury Part 1, Halls of Power, War of Light Part 2, Amazonian Fury Part 2, things like that. Well, so do we have anything else to cover as far as SOE? I mean, that... we. I mean, we didn't get, he didn't, I mean, his speech was only like 40 minutes. And part of that was technical difficulties, trying to get the Celestial gameplay up. Yep. You know, that's actually showing on the channel right now, on the stream. <laughs> but, Let me check my notes here. Check your notes, Crappy. Oh, I, everyone's going to be getting their own loot, I hear. You blew it. I was just about ready. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, I got you. <laughs> My is it confirmed, or are we still going by unconfirmed? Uh, I think I've that's confirmed, that. Kaiser. Um, I, I never I heard think it's that. confirmed for the T5 raids, and then they're going to slowly wean it in to the lesser <laughs> ones if it works good. Well, here, let me let me I start the story. Spotlight, uh -huh. Where did you, which video did you hear this from? I didn't get it from a video. I got it from one of the council members through uh, Twitter. Um, he says that he was talking, he, I don't want to, Okay. We're not going to name names. He said a certain person at SOE Live, we don't know the guy. He follows me on Twitter. I follow him. He doesn't tweet a whole lot, but he is on the council, the, the creative council. Um, he says that soon he had a conversation on Twitter, and it wasn't with me. It was some, with another player. He had a conversation saying that I don't know if he slipped this out, but that loot rolling is going away from the game. This isn't, conf I mean, I'm not going to 100% confirm it, but he did have a conversation, and I, not, I've not. i seen the other guy's tweet. I've seen his other tweets. He normally doesn't throw just random things out there. He said that everyone will soon get their own loot. You won't have to roll against other people. But you'll get a lot of off gear, because the concern, the, the guy he was having a conversation on Twitter with said, well, does that mean that the gear I'm getting is only to my role. And it's like, no, you'll probably get a bunch of, you'll get a lot of roles or you'll get a lot of gear that you don't need, but at least you won't have to roll against somebody else. But yeah, basically, basically like have your own chance. Right. You'll basically have your own chance to get the time traveler stuff, your own chance to get like runes of the East. If you have like a couple, you know, right. pieces missing from that set, you'll be oh, able wow. to get runes of the Norsemen. Finally, in my fucking case, Yep. <laughs> well, I mean, if you get your own gear, I mean, you know, if you're rolling DPS, it's not going to pay attention to what class you or what role you're in. Well, here's here's the other thing. Even if it gives you off roll, that's still a good thing. Some people are saying it's a bad thing, but 
you also got to consider all the people that use power change tokens. Right. You know, someone be like, you know what? I'm a healer right now, but I really want to tank. It's giving you the tank gear to do that power change with your loyalty or whatever. Now, There's now we got to understand that negative. this isn't this isn't a hundred percent confirmed from the devs, but this is this is like from the next best source. Someone that was at SOE Live talking to devs all weekend, and then he tweets that out. So it's highly likely. It's not a hundred percent. It's but. I, I've heard that as well. Yeah, it's very likely. So, and and all the other MMOs are doing that. Like when I play Guild Wars Two. I don't have to roll against somebody else. Now, I get a bunch of stuff I don't need, but we trade. We trade it right there on the spot. I'll I'll put, like, in the chat what I got, and another guy will put on the chat what he got. Do you need this? Do you need that? And we'll trade there on the spot. So they may be making the stuff more tradable. Oh, you ain't PC ain't going to make nothing tradable. You kidding me? (laughs) No, but you got to consider this. You know, they said they're listening to the community. Everyone always on the forum every day. Exactly. Ninja, ninja looters, looters. Ninja looters. Ninja you can't loot, complain about ninja, ninja looters no more if you don't roll on stuff. Right. <laughs> so, I mean, that's something that's we'll have to wait and one. see of what's going on. But I have a feeling I'm about 90% that that's accurate. So, yeah, I think that's I think it. I think it's cool, but what they could have done like earlier to stop everyone complaining about ninja loot was a very simple fix. What role you queue up for is the only role yeah. you could need on. What was so hard about changing that? They, they they tried to they tried to make it adamant like we want people to be able to get whatever gear they can use, but well, you eh. could use you could fucking queue up for healer. And yeah, exactly. You could fucking well, DPS isn't a true role though. That's the problem they had. Oh, don't on the start get-go. that argument. You know, a DPS is a true role. I oh, know I know it's a true role. That. But I'm saying is, as far as the game mechanics, as far as their need greed, it's not. Because if a healer thing drops, I can roll need on it. Even if I'm in DPS, I can roll need on that. That doesn't stop me. So That's why they, that's why they need to, they should have implemented the whatever you queue up for is the only role you could need on. Well, this takes care of that. So you're gonna, everyone's yeah, going to get their own loot. Fix it. You know, it's going to be just like the solos, though. I'm going to get a whole bunch of troll and tank gear. <laughs> <laughs> that I'm never going to be able to use. I mean, I'm cool with getting my own loot all the time, and that's cool because I can salvage stuff and go toward the salvage feat. This but, like, they what... better just not give me all kind of shit all the time. This is what I do when I get when I come across gear that I can't use and I don't have the style. I bank it. Oh, I save and it. Then yeah. I wait like, yeah, and then I wait like two months, and I have the station cash to just be able to switch. Right. I'm so, I mean, like... troll pretty soon. And the thing is, is that they the game... The developers make it. They want you to run content over and over and over again. They want you to be able to. (laughs) They want you to be comfortable with running content for a while, you know, because you know three months is when new content comes out, or three or four months. Honestly, I want to see what this does to the economy on the PS3 because aside from the gear, you know, if a group of eight people beats Nexus. I think that's a more likely chance that two or three people in that group are going to get expert plans, which means there's going to be more of them, more of them on the broker. Prices go down. I'm wondering what this is going to do to the economy. It'll drop the economy. Things yeah, the won't economy's be as... going to... Yeah. It won't kill it completely. It's not going to kill, kill it, it, but it's going to, it's going to hurt it. It's, it's going to yeah. drop the prices yeah. for us. Well, which I think is good for the uh, overall benefit of the game. Yeah. yeah. You really think DC would give two people a plan in one raid? I think if Crazy. it's for everyone, let's put it this way: everyone, if, 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 if everyone is getting their own individual chance, you have a way higher chance of it happening. Oh no, they're going to rig it up so only, <laughs> if there is the slightest chance that a plan may be nah, given to somebody, only one cynical. person is going to get that plan. That's for damn sure. Why do you play the game, cool. crappy? You, you just hate the game. <laughs> <laughs> they hate me. <laughs> I see all these other healers. They're like, oh, I Quint got these. smoking weed. You're paranoid. I got this 87 gear out of Nexus. No, blah, blah, it's blah. not that. He doesn't hate the game as much as Quag hated the game last night. Oh, they would not give that man a microphone no matter what <laughs> he did. Uh uh-uh. uh. Hours he tried. Saturday Everybody night, else, Mike out. They got mics. No matter what he did, he couldn't get a mic. He thought we were lying to him at one point. He's like, "No, the mics are down. You guys are just lying." Yeah, they were now. having people were having difficulties last night. Yeah, He's we had the same like, thing with our tank. Our though. pyro Jay came in and tried to get his mic to work. He couldn't get it to work. So, 
Actually, it's better when he can't speak. That's true. I'm pleasantly surprised. <laughs> Anybody want to buy some bits? <laughs> but anyway, I just wanted to say if this is just if this is somebody putting out a tweet that's just like uh, making a joke or just it might be. I mean, don't like hold us to this. Don't say, "Oh, those idiots on that DCO Project podcast said this," and it wasn't. We're just going by what was is going around Twitter right now for the game. So coming out of SOE Live, so I'm just putting that on there. Uh, don't hold us to that. But I have a if feeling it is wrong. You could just blame it. I that's count. happening. So, and to me, that yeah, that wrong, would be the biggest news besides the apocalypse stuff, Dark Side. That to me, that's the second biggest news coming out of there. So, so anyway. Yeah, I thought that was pretty awesome. Yeah. All well, in all, it, it's powers, all good stuff. Yeah. Yeah, it was a, there was a lot of info and it was a good you know, good thing and uh, Trex and Patriot got knocked out of the first round of the PVP two two v two legends. So anyway, oh geez, God, you really have. Was a, I was like a, Trex, man. I think Trex is a cool dude. Oh yeah, he's funny. He put a tweet out. He put a tweet out saying, "I it's it's official. I suck at PVP." <laughs> <laughs> oh, me too. I'm, I'm you know, I don't think I don't think he was the problem on that oh. team. <laughs> we'll have to wait to see the video. We'll have to wait to see the video. But anyway, can we put it to like some Betty Hill music or something? Yeah. So, do we have anything? Do we have anything else constructive to add let to me, the podcast? Let me check my notes. Let me check my notes. Check your notes, crappy. I really don't have notes. <laughs> I knew you didn't have notes. Oh, hold on. I, I don't come prepared. <laughs> Let, let me think. Did we hit? Did we go everything? Three people for live cast. PVP <laughs> tournament. Mister E in the corner daydreaming about a giant gold Super Patriot statue. I guess, yeah. <laughs> no, I think we got everything. Well, he put a comment out that he doesn't even play the game anymore. He he hates <laughs> the game and all this, and I'm just like, whatever, man. Whatever. I think we went over everything. We might be getting our own loot. I could buy 86 yeah. vendor gear instead of actually have to try to. I'm just hoping they put ri- 86 rings and face pieces and necks in there somehow. I, I feel like they will since this, like I said, is going to be basically the, the central city lightning strike. I think they said they're not doing weapons. I think they said somewhere there are no weapons. <laughs> yeah, I, like I think they those. said that, yeah, there wasn't going to be weapons. Like a spark weapon. You know how you could buy a spark weapon out of Central City, you know, that was equal to the highest DPS weapon at the time. I don't think that's going to be the case (laughs) with the new stuff, so. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Yep. You know, whoever, Tavo469, Crappy could have been raiding with you the whole time. That's up to Crappy. That's... (laughs) Oh, that's Bush. Oh, Oh, okay. Not too bad I'm not in the chat. Yeah, but I don't Give know. Give a shout out to Bush because he likes men. <laughs> shout out to Bush Wookie. <laughs> well, I mean, do you have anything you want to talk about? Uh, I like the way you die, boy. Your name just doesn't roll off the tongue very easy. <laughs> um, no, not at all. I'm actually a Nexus and. I'm not too familiar with what happened at SOE Live, so it's kind of news for me too. So thank you guys. Yeah, that's cool. Is it a good Nexus or a failed Nexus? Oh, the best. With me, the best. <laughs> Are you with Arch Enemy? No, not right now. It's a pug run, so I'm oh. carrying everybody like usual, but no problem hey. at all. <laughs> You're going to be in there a while. It couldn't be the best run without me. All right. Well, I think that's going to be. What about you, Glenn? You have anything? Not really. Just excited for the new stuff, of course. Yeah, me too. I think the, I think the stuff coming down the road sounds really cool. So, how's your DC download going on your PS3, there, Glenn? <laughs> oh, it's it started. It's non-existent. <laughs> I'm waiting for you. I hope you level up. What about you, Kaiser? You have any Why constructive do you want me to things? Play so bad. Do you just wait, wait, wait. When, when do I ever have? So you could be tortured and have the same fucking rotten opinions that I have. <laughs> I just oh, wanna, I thought it was, I, I thought I wanna, it was because you, you guys thought I was good. I just want to remind everyone we do have an iPhone app. I have the info on the screen. We do have an iPhone app. You can go to the dcoproject.podbean.com backslash mobile on your iPhones, and you can quick launch the, uh, the DCO Project app, and the Android might be coming soon. Hopefully. 
Dude, if I was trying to and, download that, I'd never be able to. What you just said was too many things to comprehend. <laughs> and if anyone out there is interested in us providing an Android app, feel free to send an in-game email to Count Shockula and let him know your opinions. I get oh, enough, Android, I Android get enough stuff. in-game. <laughs> I don't have time that, to play the game anymore. That's because your your YouTube name is the same as your game name. I don't I did that on that purpose, issue. you moron. Yeah, Wait, but I don't I have do that it. issue. <laughs> They don't know who I am, so I don't get tells all the time. They don't want to know who you are. That's just more money in my pocket. <laughs> the more the more tells I get means just the more money in my pocket. Oh yeah, you get money from tells. Oh, you want me to say tells? <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus! Do I have to explain <laughs> everything? Tell for a tell. Anyway. Oh yeah, if I get one back, <laughs> I'll trade you. I'll trade you 